show. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We are here in North Carolina getting ready for the tournament. Actually have to go drop our tackle on our boat tonight. And this is sort of like a different deal. Heavy hitters is sort of like a mixture of a cup event, which we fish out of the league boats, and a BBT event where we fish out of our boats. Now basically heavy hitters to give you guys an understanding. Last year we fished out of our boats. This year, um, because of um, everything we're going to ultimately fish out of their boats with their jerseys, all that stuff. So, very fortunate to have the heavy hitters event and have to have an opportunity to qualify for such a big event with so much money. But Adrian fished today. Now, Mark, DC, and I, we fish tomorrow. He, what, where are you at, Adrian? Huh? Where are you at, buddy? I don't know where I'm at. What place are you at? Let me, let me show you boys how my day went. All right, so you guys know. You're about to get some, some nakedness on YouTube. Woo! You boys know that you got to switch boats. <laughs> well, I brought all my tackle, but look what I forgot. Guess what happened? I forgot toilet paper. My ass had nothing. <laughs> I had nothing, dude. That's how my day went today, dude. No! Straight way. up. Look, look at this. Up. Look. You forgot toilet paper. <laughs> Yo, make sure you bring some toilet paper. <laughs> My guy gave me a plastic bag. I'm like, dude, I'm sacrificing this sun shirt. That's how, that's how my day went. It's terrible, dude. And that's how we kicked off heavy hitters. <laughs> <laughs> He's in kitchen, how do you kick I'm tired. Who Mar the is it? Since Marshall's me. Oh, you don't get him. Oh, I'm taking him already. I listen, know. and listen now, this is the right. thing. Like we didn't even since you lost the pig and Mark Mark didn't claim, I'm just gonna claim y'all y'all everybody's been sleeping on Marshall. I mean you wanna have a I don't have a camera guy on my boat today, so I figure Marshall, he can ride with you. Ride, ride. Yeah. Alright, DC, you know, I'm, I'm gonna treat him a little bit better. I'm gonna put him on on, on the pasture or something. I have a Marshall. I'm gonna have my boat official hold Marshall. We're gonna hang out. Bro, what do you think about it? You never know. You never because know. That guy right there, he, he's good luck. Teddy. I don't guarantee you who that is not. Teddy Pentagram. That is not. That, that is not Jimmy Ding. That's not Jimmy Ding. No, that that is, is not Jimmy Ding. No. They don't even look, they don't even look close. So if I do not catch him today, he does not like Teddy right now, that, that's the guy. He, he is not. Never not called him. No, he's not. I mean, there's always a day for that, but this is the thing. When that happens, it's going to be like, it, it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. You brought the luck. I probably wouldn't even call what I caught if you didn't come. Thank you, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Nice little day. Somebody got to catch him. Somebody got to catch him. Somebody got to catch him. Oh, my God, Grace. This right here about to be like, come on, Jacob. Come on, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark with a set of penny. <laughs> come on, come on, Mark. <laughs> DC's got one for two pounds, two ounces. Hey, hey here, go, here go a bass fish in fact, but you know, you remember, uh, Kevin Worth? You know, he was a jockey Kevin rider. Kevin Worth, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Kevin Worth was a jockey Tuck, rider, bro. Yeah. That, that ain't yeah, crazy? Yeah, that's cool. When I found out, it blew my mind. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> really? Yeah. I just tripped out on that. Yeah. Okay, that's your, that's your Get in the boat with a camera. Y'all ready? Here we go. I'm, I'm ready. With a fishing rod. You, you would be the man. Oh, y'all, I'm talking about the heavy hitters. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to yarn on all y'all. <laughs> and just hold him up here. You got to hold him yarn on all y'all. Oh, oh, my God. I'm done. So, right, on that note, we got the fishing boys. Yeah, boy. I want to hear her catch one for two pounds, two pounds. <laughs> All right, so this is the deal. We're fixing to go drop our bow, or actually go drop our tackle on the bow. Let's see what DC is doing over there. Y'all can see. Oh, uh, you might not be able to see because we have to have a light on, but I got, this is like the second loader rod. 
I got plenty of them. I got plenty of tackle and plenty of rods. So, it's our own main fault if we don't get it back. This the deal. What's that? Oh, is it? Yeah. Dang, my bad. I'm out here on the outside. Oh, my bad. Right. So I saw that Toyota logo and I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's put these suckers right here. I appreciate it. Y'all, we got plenty of rods. We're not, we're not gonna miss out on rods. Y'all thought, y'all thought just because we got practice, your boy was gonna have less rods. Come on, <laughs> come on now, y'all know me. It's not going to happen. All right, y'all. Now we're on a tackle. We got the right boat. That's a good start. Now we just gotta get the right tackle. You guys already know, I got plenty of it. Slim. Organization to its finest. All right, so this is what you guys have maybe seen this on the channel. These things right here are so awesome. They are, let me see here, I actually have some right here. There's one left right here. So basically, that's a little ring that I put on all the wacky arms that I throw. And you just close that, you put it on there, then it has a hole that you can go through where ultimately you're, you can go horizontal with the worm or you can go through it where it ultimately a hook sticks out and get over top. So that's what, that's why I have these little crossover, they're called crossover pliers. BMC makes them. Shameless plug, I'm telling y'all. If I didn't think it mattered for me, I wouldn't talk about it. Really do like it. All right, this is where we're gonna leave you guys. Right here. Got the boat re ready to roll. Got this Toyota, hey, this Toyota boat right here, it's got, hey buddy. I got Marshall, I'm bringing a little Marshall with us. Try to catch a bass. Gonna have to catch a big one. 25 grand for big fish the next few days. All right, let's go make this thing happen. Where's Rod? Delivery for J Dub. I should have just steal this lunch. Cause look, I ain't got no lunch this morning. Bro and Brody didn't went and got J Dub lunch, or J Dub went and got J Dub lunch. I don't know, but listen, <laughs> I can use lunch. I'll, I'll, delivery. I'll, I don't need them it's Red DiGiorno. Bulls, but... It's not DiGiorno. No, it's them, DiGiorno. It's them. not delivery, it's DiGiorno. It's is that That's what it was. So, look at that. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you, Bob. Alright. We here. Hey, look at little Marshall back there. He's jacked, ready to roll. He knows what's about to happen. That score tracker is going to be dinging off today. I'm telling y'all, you watch. Ding, 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 ding. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm necessarily going to be doing that. I'm just letting y'all know. The field is absolutely going to catch them here. It's warm. It's like, oh, they're going to bite. They're going to bite. They're going to bite. <laughs> I'm telling you, they're going to bite. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just letting y'all know. I got a couple things together. Got some swim baits. Got Got some different stuff together. We're gonna see if we can catch us a few. I'm gonna try to catch y'all one. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's just a good bait to have tied on this time of year. It's a draw. Yeah, do that. Keep going back and forth. I got some different rods. stuff. I, I got a lot of rods ready to roll in the box. Yeah. I have 10 more rods in the box. Nice. Probably 15 more rods, actually. Nice. Like, Cool. Yep, I got you. Awesome. Oh my goodness. But my wife put it in the boat the first time I ever fished. That's awesome. That's cool. This was my 1974 classic patch on. Hey, got it. I know you're that old. <laughs> first there you go. I said, you're that old? There ain't no way. Colter ain't that old. Dang, which one do I run? I gotta put another one right here. Forget it. Okay, so some people on the channel ask this a lot. They're like, why do you, they see me do this a lot. Okay, like, I put it on my dang rod and I do this, I wrap it. So the thing that I, the reason I'm doing this is I put so many rods on my front deck that whenever you see me getting tangled, that's because I didn't wrap that rod. So I could just literally wrap it, take my line around it, wrap it around the guides, and then that makes it to where there's not any loose line there. And that allows for that rod to not get tangled. So when you need to grab a rod, you just pick it up, you go like this, you unwrap him, and you're ready to roll. Reasons. 
morning prayer will be led by Professor Anger Ott Tico. And let's pray. Lord, we just want to come to you this morning. Boat number 17, Toyota Murphy, Jacob Wheeler. All right, guys. So this is the deal. I'm going to start shallow. I'm going to start shallow. There's some willow weed up here. And just sort of anticipating these fish moving up okay we've had two days since we've been on this body of water well, a day and a half i guess um and we have a new moon tomorrow so i'm thinking you know these fish are going to start to move into these areas these little pockets and these places like this right here so i'm actually starting on a place that i got a bite and um there's actually a place over here i wanted to start at but there's an angle there so i'm gonna start down through this little stretch i'm gonna run some places sort of see what goes down um, it's a really, really pretty morning and they should bite pretty good first thing. So I'm going to try to run fast off the first, first little bit. And then as the sun gets up, slow down. So that's the plan. See if we can't execute on a couple bigs. They're going to catch them today. Gosh dang, they're going to catch them. Can I see this bait and make sure it's right? Let me ensure you just okay, it looks good. Just want to make sure my stuff looks decent. Just make sure these fish are ready to roll. I figured probably by seven minutes there are probably a couple guys out on it. Anybody else on score tracker? One fish. That's crazy 12 minutes in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm really shocked about that. That's crazy to me. Yeah, little. Itty bitty. Hey yo, bro. Holla. Holler at me later. You gotta get a dang. You gotta catch a big one. You gotta catch your mama. I got caught up with some BS. I thought, man, let me go run down through here real quick. Swim a jig. I knew better than this. So there's eight anglers on score tracker? Seven. Seven. I feel like a buzz bait should catch one right now. I don't know why I do, but I just do. I feel like this buzz bait should get a bite and be one of them great big ones. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, that's sort of what we were trying to say. Uh, let's go. <laughs> One of them showstoppers we just said. I'm moving them out of the way. I said, man, I gotta bite that buzz. I might bite that, I gotta bite that buzz bait. Four pounds, two ounces. Yes, sir. First good fish of the day. Start heavy hitters out with a good one. Ooh. I mean, train wrecked us. I said, oh, heck no. Oh, we could throw a buzz bait. That cloud cover stays in. See them bubble trails. Sir, came out a little way. Just probably spawning all corner of that grass. I thought like actually fish had been up there a little while. Lucas has caught his third fish. He's up to 11 pounds on that. Man, I really anticipated a bite in here. It's a really good looking stretch of stuff. I had them. I mean, I didn't get a bite in practice, but it just sets up so good. Step the game up a little bit, boys. 
Yeah, son. That fish was actually like more, not post spawn, but you could tell you've been up there a little while. This pocket right here. Oh, woo. I mean, it gets pressure probably from the bank fishing, but try to crawl that buzz on the outside edge of that willow grass, see what goes down. And then we got a ride rod. Ooh, you're gonna have to tweak him a little bit more. It's actually not bad that way he got tweaked. Actually puts him down there a little bit lower in the water. Go! Oh, smoked it. There we go. Straight buzzing them up. Get that accent buzz bait going, son. Three pounds, 13 ounces. Hey, Marshall. Hello, Marshall. Hello, Marshall. I got a question. What do you think? Solid fish. Appreciate it. I'm here that. All right. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Now, gosh dang, we need a dang. We need one of them females to do that. Two pounder. Two pounds, three ounces. Yes, sir. Did not take long to catch that sucker. Put it up in there, like, doop. One, one. All right. It's him. We gotta get our stuff together. What place are we in? Seventh place. Sounds about right. Bringing a camera boat. All right, guys, chicken in one for the guys I love to follow on the lake, especially during the first period, because he knows how to break down a whole lot of water really fast. Yeah, you know, I anticipated that there'd be a little bit better of a morning bite. You know, these fish that were up shallow, I felt like, you know, you could get those fish to bite pretty quickly. So that's why I try to cover a lot of water, sort of get a vibe. When that sun gets out, it gets slick, calm, it gets a little bit tough on this lake. At least it has for me in practice. I'm not necessarily dialed in this period. So I wanted to try to get as much ground as I possibly could. Caught, you know, 10 pounds. Um, but I think I'm about to slow down in the second period and really sort of start picking some stuff apart. Getting fired up a little bit. Every once in a while I can see it. Oh wait, it's moving. Oh, there you go. Here you go. Let's see this inside the mouth? Yep. There you go. That's how you do it. Got us one. Thank you, sir, for biting. I'm gonna let you go right back there. Three pounds, four ounces. We needed that one. We needed that one for sure. The camera isn't unlucky. We just gotta catch them a little bit better. Okay, I was starting to think there for a second. We gotta get that camera out of our boat. <laughs> I was starting to think that. I was like, dang that, we gotta get some stuff together, boys. You know, that fish right there took a little while, but that was a I just know how big of a deal it is. Very seldom can you actually see a lot of these fish here. It's just been really tough to see. I'd rather fish than, than sight fish. There's very, there's very few places you can see them. That was just one of the exceptions. I don't know why, man. It just doesn't seem like they want to come up. Crazy to me. Four, three, two, one, one jack. Wow. I cannot, I cannot figure out where that fish is sitting at. It's this tough thing about fishing. I might be able to stay back off, but it's like, I just, that's the only problem about bed fishing and looking at them is 
you can get caught up and it's a game and it's like then you get mad at the fish and then you end up not dang i just it's just just out of my sight where i can ultimately see what's going on had a bite me one time i felt it but tunk pushing it out of the way from it but that's that was it it's been a tough second period and i i t anticipated it would be but we're gonna have to catch them that's awesome what was your name rob rob very nice to meet you dude that is hella cool that is awesome logo right there that's awesome thank you rob i really appreciate that that's yeah. awesome american flag with my dang that's awesome dang i guess you see one but his just says dc fishing because he doesn't have a logo yeah oh i know i know it's, it's hilarious that's cool though that's awesome though gosh if this thing bass and start acting right i'd be okay absolutely i already got indy james and in Connell on there for sure <laughs> i got you this fish acts the way is that her or is that him? That cannot be him. That's got to be her. That's a biggie down there. I can just, every once in a while, I mean, her tail's like, I mean, it's not a little one. If it gets any more frustrating, I'm going to jump in the water and go down there and swim and grab him. <laughs> I'll throw that over there and just let him chill out over there for a second. We gotta go to this other place and just, man, we gotta just slow down and fish in there and call it good. I'll come up with a different game plan depending on how that goes for the next day. Humana, humana, humana. A little bit of wind on the stretch should help a lot. I hate fishing slow, but man, sometimes you just got to. It's like sometimes you just, I'd rather just take my time and cast around a little bit in the stretch real quick and really fish it thoroughly. And Dang, Kevin. Go, Kev. We won't go real slow because we gotta hit a couple places where I shook one off. For you boys spinning pole stupid tube that's for the hoosier state baby indiana five pounds nine ounces ding ding baby that's what i'm talking about that fish right there oh i hate dragging around gosh i hate dragging around but it is what it is man i hate doing it but you know hey if they're gonna be like that you deal with it just like gosh you just sit there and whoo feels good man get a little momentum just knew i just like that fish is out there a little bit i've been pitching you know going through two three four foot that fish right there i had another bite right there on that point and just taking my time dragging a lot of times that's what you have to do is this is the this is my least favorite time when this is happening right here this is my least favorite favorite time of year when i gotta drag and drag and drag it's just you know sometimes you're better off slowing down taking your time fishing the high percentage places very much so this place is a little steeper has enough water on it for this fish to transition here man we need another one like that. Gosh, dang. I hated to do it. I'm not, I don't think I've caught a bass in a tournament since the All-American on this thing. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Actually, I won the All-American with the help of this bait right here. It's rigged, so. 
That's been years. A little one. That's all you need to know right there is Mark Davis, 28, dragging, straight dragging, dragging. I saw him dragging for dang years. Suckers drug more dang, he's drug more baits on the bottom than I've drove miles in my lifetime. That's facts. Mm, no. Let's try it real quick here, though. One tenth. Okay. I caught enough of those at Rayburn to know. I don't know how many I caught, but I caught a ton. This is the the way the morning is started. My rod started is not the way they ended. <laughs> it's not the way they've ended at all. Organized, feel good about it. Now it's just like, go, 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 go. Dang. Two minutes, man. We got to get one. Hoo wee. What a dang day caught us a big one late i don't know what's gonna come in store you know we have a little bit of clouds a little bit of rain maybe in the forecast um but i got a feeling falls lake is fixing to go off so i'm hoping that it does in the next couple of days good or for you thank you yeah no problem Heck yeah, man. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, no way. Absolutely, I can. Here you go. I'll hop, I'll hop out for you. Here. You catch me one, all right, next time you're out. Go win me another tournament, all right? All right. Hey, no problem at all. That's so awesome. I enjoy the heck out of just hanging out and going fishing and talking fishing. I've been watching all your videos up to this weekend. Dang. Are you seeing the carry? No, we're seeing the Apex. Apex. I work in Apex. Please. You are? Can you sign my phone case? Oh, absolutely I can. But leave room for DC. Oh, I can for sure. Yeah, we had to get old DC. Like that. That's a cool dang, that's, that's a cool dang hat. On your own for head. sure I can. Oh, absolutely, yeah. man. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry, I know I told you. Boys. <laughs> Because he didn't come down this year. Uh, what's your name? Camden. Camden? What's the cover? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Appreciate no it. No problem, man. It was a pleasure to meet y'all. Thank you guys for coming out. All right, so this is the deal, guys. Y'all saw me fishing all day with one glove. I just left the other one in there. I know some people are like, man, what the heck's going on? Yeah, it was just I forgot the other glove. So it wasn't anything to do with trying to catch a bass or being sneaky or nothing. Just wanted to let y'all know. <laughs> Marshall's still lucky. Hey, you know, I mean, DC didn't catch him, Mark didn't catch him, and I'm believing the name group. I mean, Marshall's just lucky. He just is what it is. Hey, Miss Libby. Hi. Do you want to go see him? I just want to see you. Hi, Miss Libby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> is that all you wanted? Yeah. Really? Hey. Is that Dad? <laughs> yeah. You wanted to see me. Yeah. Daddy worked hard, tried to catch a bass all day. Yeah, you did good. Hey, this weather right here, we've been double crossboning them right now. So they started to catch them late. We got a lot of fishing pools rigged up. We did not catch them on very many. This is the thing. So, you guys saw it go down. I had to pick out the old stupid tube. I cannot even believe this stuff. I've not even caught a bass on that thing in literally probably... I've not caught a tournament fish that I've weighed in since the All-American 10 years ago. That's a long time. But he catches bigs. Brody, Terry McWilliams, they all they do. Brody all Brody does throw dang stupid. So I said, I'll hang with it. I'm throwing that sucker. It really is good around the spawn. And those fish, sometimes they get in that funky mood when they're in that four to eight foot of water. You just drag around and it goes, doop, zzz, biggin'. <laughs> Today's the day. Like, today's the day we're gonna do this. All right, guys, we got an update. 
we're on our off day here at the house. It, in the middle of me going to dinner with a few friends, Alicia and I went to few, get free friends. I guess there was a major challenge in basketball that happened. I guess it was a very intense game of horse. And Brett, I, I guess, felt, are you going to tell the story? You yeah, story. so it was a layup. And Mark knows I can't do layups. They were trying to get me out. I think I had like H-O-R. He did a layup. Everybody made it in front of me. I was hoping DC would miss it because DC was in front of me. I was like, oh, if he misses it, I'm good. Under and over. So it was Mark's fault. Just Mark. for the record, it was Mark's fault. Go ahead. Oh, and people were broken, like no feet in the water. Now he's breaking people's feet. So then he fall, <laughs> you fall. I fall, so I jump up. I made the shot. Yeah. Huh? Made the shot, landed, slipped, hit the side of my, like the side of my foot. Just wrong. So you hit it like hand. this. Like here's like, your foot. This is the bottom of his foot. He went straight down. Straight down. So. We heard it pop. So then this morning, he said it was a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to say this. Little have I known Brett over the last month and a half. He's not a wuss. Not a wuss. So he, when he says 10 out of 10, I'm like, man, that's going to hurt. Now we have proof. He broke it. Broke his way. He's got a boot, o boot over there. The crack right there. Right here. See that crack? Right there. They said if he broke it any further down. Pins. Pins. Surgery. Yep. So, hey. You don't want you don't want to bet you don't want to bet anybody for money in this house, man. You just things things end up happening, breaking feet. <laughs> I will say this: one shot, skulls. I was one shot away from winning the game. I had Adrian on the ropes, one shot away. God, and still, still oh, you dig. oh my goodness. There, and the females were up there together. Where are you? This is like it's a mixture of the two, but basically. You ever watch the general title world championship? And so what you're gonna do? Yeah, so what I would do is just get a jig, get a cheap jig, half on jig. Oh, and good seeing ya. Well, that was fun. So give me a little bit of a backstory. Met a handful of people. And so with our JW like give back and what we were doing with that throughout the spring, this is something that's been ongoing throughout the year. You guys have not seen a lot of it because something I don't try to record it, just try to give it to people if I can. And ultimately, some other people come out, so we are able to give a few things away, look out for a few people, some really good stories. Some of people that I've actually known and actually met here actually um, on Falls Lake last time I was here, so it's really cool to see them again um, and be able to help out. Now, on to jump into the Academy store, I'll let you all know, I got something super secret I gotta grab in here. It's not a fishing lure, I bet you will not guess what it is. I mean, it's something that I really, really need for tomorrow to potentially make that knockout round. Wait and see. Hey, Yo, this is it. The reason, I'm not gonna tell you exactly why, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show y'all when we get back to the house, why did I buy a score gun? Specifically this one that, that shoots 34 feet. And if your first guess is to shoot DC, you're right. It is that. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually not that. But I'll show you guys here when we get back to the house. All right, y'all. We're back home. I'm about to show you guys what we're doing with this. Let's ride to the kitchen. Okay, get this guy out. So, this one's from a little one. This one's for Olivia. Is it a nerf gun? No. So, what I'm doing this for, I was using a basket saber spray to ultimately like, well, basket saber spray bottle, sort of like this window spray bottle, to put like dish soap and water into and then spray it out there. There's so much pollen this week, if you guys have seen a little bit of it, so much pollen this week, that when you go into some of these pockets, there's a couple areas that are clean enough to potentially see the fish spawning and see their beds, and you can't see them at all because all the pollen. Well, now we got this, 34 feet, ready to roll, back off, shh, spray the whole pocket, done. I'll show you real quick here. So what I'm gonna do is get some water in this guy. Head up, up, up. I think this is the way it works. I'm not used to squirt gun quite some time. Water, dish soap. You wanna make it a little potent though. And now we're ready to go for tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Now we know how it works. <laughs> what the heck? I didn't know it was like, it doesn't have a little shoe. No, what do you think is going to happen? 
George Foreman. Babe, go spray some, go spray on the deck or go outside. Well, I didn't realize. I did not realize. I, I told you I was been a while. <laughs> I'm not joking. Put him up. No, put him up. No, stop. Put him up. Hey, you put him up. Stop. Your daddy's hurting mommy. <laughs> hey, you better play that. Get her. Oh, the first one? Well, you won the last one. We got to split. We split one, two, three. All right, so Adrian just got back. Bro, Damn good it, boy. job. He caught, caught, caught a giant one. Caught, caught an eight and a half. Eight and a half pounder, and uh, unfortunately got beat twice. <laughs> Fletcher won the round. Hey, you got Twenty-five third G's. Bass. Third oh, biggest bass. Oh, so an eight nine was the right third here. biggest bass of the day. For you guys that don't Shot, know, man. each round we get basically uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Big bass is twenty-five grand, and I had big bass all the way up until about three hours ago. Dean Rojas called an eight eleven, then Fletch called him like a nine something. So. Unfortunately, I didn't get to 25 grand, but I did make it to the next round, so I'm looking forward to it. Never been on Sharon Harris. These boys here, they all got that dialed in. For me, I'm just going to throw it down and figure it out. You missed my bank shot. Hey, you do got it. Hey, we got sleeves. Yeah, we got, yeah. yeah, got sleeves today. Yeah, you all know what happened last time. Unreal. Lots of fish fish. Yeah. All right. I ended up bringing a lot more today. Not, I'm not going to say a lot more, but I brought a few more today because ultimately I wanted, I brought like basically like three more swim baits. Three or four more swim bait rods. Because either if I get up or I get down, I want to be able to go throw a big glide bait around or a big swim bait around and try to have a chance to win 25 grand. I mean, you don't get very many opportunities just to win 25 grand on a big fish every day of your life. So that is the reason why it is called heavy hitters. Is because the money really is in the big bass awards. I mean, obviously the tournament pays a lot, but that's why your boys got the Arashi on, we got the Hinkle on, we got it all. Have bunker logs, frogs, largo shad, bed fishing baits, swim jigs, more swim baits, swim jig trailers, rattling chunks, hand poured worms, hook box, floating worm box, jig box, local specials, more swim baits, more jerk baits, grabber jaws, chatter bait trailers. Treble hook box, poppies, little poppers, little trench hogs, and then tubes. We got enough. If we can't get your bass on this stuff, it just ain't been meant to be. It ain't meant to be. The problem is you just never know when you're going to need some. Just never like, let me see your So we got us some coffee. Big shout out to General Tire for supporting this event number one, but also at the end of the day, they're not a sponsor of mine, but they're a sponsor of the league, and we really appreciate every, each and everybody who supports the league, as well as I mean, bringing us breakfast. They got us coffee. I mean, come on. Thank y'all. I carried this around for three of my uh, deployments over there. And uh, it was flown in Iraq uh, for nine minutes and 11 seconds uh, by a guy named Colonel Steele. Yeah. And uh, it brought me luck when I was over there. I thought I'd give Dude, it to you. You are the man. What was your name? Jesse Dyer. Jesse, thank you so much. You're welcome. That is phenomenal. Yeah. Thank you. You're I welcome. can't even, I'm, I'm like, I'm speechless, man. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, so, so basically, um, back in 2005, 2006, I was uh, serving under uh, Colonel Steele. Um, if you ever watched the movie Black Hawk Down, mm -hmm. he, he was actually Captain Steele when he was in Mogadish, or in, uh, he was in Black Hawk Down. When I served under him, he was a colonel with the Rakasans, third brigade. Mm -hmm. And uh, he flew this flag, uh, tw actually 2,700 of them for only his soldiers in the brigade. 
And uh, this is one of the 2700, and it flew for nine minutes and 11 seconds. Um, Dude, Jesse, like that, that I, it is seriously, like I couldn't, I cannot even imagine something that I'm like, like I'm humbled to even hold this, like for real. Like seriously, I am, I'm like, it's, it has a huge, I, I will take care of this sucker with my life. Gosh, dang you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seriously. Right, good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Uh -huh. Thank you. Hi. Seriously, on a serious note, that is the coolest gift I've ever received in the history of my life. Like, pretty dang cool. This is insane, Brody. I'll tell you. A lot of people put their lives on the line for this country, for uh, us to have an opportunity to do what we love. And um, that just means a lot to me. So, if you guys, if sir, any of you who served, we would appreciate all our, our men and women who who served and um, put your lives on the line for this country because we just don't take it for granted. We don't. I would not be able to do what I do today without y'all. Jeez, man. Yeah. Anytime, Josh, I'm back. Yeah, he's gonna take a bath. Thank you. Probably want to make a cast with this, but we're gonna have him rigged up anyway. Five minutes. Actually, there's, there's shatter spawning on clay, which is interesting. I thought with that water coming up a little bit, they might slide up on these flatter banks just because they feel more comfortable if a wave did not, did pull up in that new moon yesterday. You have some fresh ones that rolled up. Bass sucker, I knew better. Mm -hmm. I saw what you were doing. I saw what you were doing right there. See how skinny that fish is? Post spawner. Two pounds, ten ounces. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's sort of a tough deal to run, but I just knew what was going. I just, I'm like, nah. And that sucker's going to be there. It's got to be there. Oosh. Hey, y'all got a little frog, but I don't care if it's a pound and a half or a six pounder, two pounder, whatever. Preferably over two pounds, though. Preferably more towards six and bigger. Ooh, son of a gun. Dang, gummy. There he is. Little one. No. You ain't gonna make the cut. So you're telling me we need to catch one. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. I fear we run the cypress trees down here. Four ounces. Yes, sir. That's the dang who that helps us a lot. I tell you, it's tight up there. Let me put this power pole down real quick. I've been trying to run around. That fish, I think, was spawning. I've been trying to run around and fish a little bit differently. Slow down a little bit on some places. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Then we'll just lock this in our hand the rest of the period anyway. Run some shade places like this. There's not a whole lot like this, so. Little one. Could just grow up just a little bit for me. It'd be awesome. Mm. 
We need to get one. Yeah, we need to get one. Thing is, it's like, man, you just don't, you don't know when to slow down or speed up. Oh, that's a little dragon I'll do for you. All right, super soaker. Let's play some. I'm gonna have to pick that flipping stick up and go flip some wood. That sucks. Dang, man. I just retired that too. There he is. Gosh, come on. Nope. Don't think so, but we'll play it. We'll weigh him just to just put a little something on the scales. It's about a 111. It's long enough. Pound 13 ounces. Yeah, sort of had a vibe on that one. Need to be a little fatter. All right, y'all. A little bit of an update. End of second period. We are in tenth, top ten advance on. Come on, come on now. Got to put that rally cap on. Got to put that rally cap on. I'm just sort of trying to get a game plan of exactly how I want to go about it. Not exactly 100% sure. We're gonna come up with something. I uh, had an opportunity to get a pretty decent, not a good fish, but I still would have been in 10th. So I'm picking up a jig right now, a little small finesse jig. I go back and forth whether I wanna run up the river or if I wanna stay down here. Decisions, decisions. Wish me luck. This last period, we're gonna have to catch a couple dang big. It's gonna take 30 pounds. I'm gonna say 30, 30. Two pounds. So we need to catch basically 10 pounds. So we'll see you guys here in a second. We are still grinding, man. We've gone in, out, up, down. This is the thing. I'm, I'm with that wind blowing, trying to determine whether or not throw this swim bag. I was gonna throw it down one more little stretch real quick here. Sort of working my way up the lake. We've got some places that I thought looked really good on this fish new water. But this is what it is. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to find get on a little 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 deal. You're just gonna have to. You know, catch you a few nice fish in this last bit. I would I would have to think they're gonna catch them pretty good in this last period. And uh, it doesn't really matter where you're at, you're gonna have to catch catch a couple bass. Little one. Little one. Yes, sir. Uh, we got to get our stuff together. Two pounds, eleven ounces. Yes, sir. We need one good bite, at least right now, that we know of. I knew it was up here. I was like, I knew it last night. I was like, man, they're gonna be up here. No water on the new stuff, it's flooded. It was just a perfect storm. But, I mean, it just sound like there's way too many boats up the way. I mean, I've never even fished this stretch in my whole life. Just thought it looked the best for the least amount of boats being on it. Oh. Ooh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I knew them suckers were coming up. Four pounds, fourteen ounces. Boom, baby. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Baker. All right, we'll see you later. Trust me, we ain't out of the woods. All of a sudden, we go from nothing to, hey, okay. Trust me, we are not out of the woods. That was like, doink. Gosh, dang.
this is the thing i wanted to go to another area but i could just hear there's so many boats up the way i'm getting up on pad and everything else i just pulled an audible and said no nope, there's no way in heck we're going to be able to go back up there and be able to make up that weight going behind a whole bunch of other boats so i just went to an area that i felt like wasn't going to get as much pressure never even fished this in my life just roll up and that's what it's about get a couple bites now we gotta we definitely need a couple more all right y'all that that was some stuff right there holy smokes y'all seen it oh man that's so dang stressful but i love it when it's close but i hate it <laughs> it's so much fun but it's so stressful it feels unbelievable last second fish catches i had to go to my old trusty Guggen Bates bandito bug it's california crawl uh it is what it is you just got to pick up your confidence baits and to do it in that like that last minute like hail mary like that is unbelievable the emotion that we go through in a day is is pretty stressful but to have that emotion and come back and make the right decision and get them capitalized and get those fish in the boat man it's unbelievable i'm i'm pumped i'm pumped to get over to sharon harris and see what if we can't catch a few bass they've been biting over there i want to say they're sick like, oh, they're gonna bite they're gonna bite <laughs> on after more oh dude thank you man Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking Adrian, about. Thank AJ you. And Adrian I got and, uh, you. I ain't gonna leave you. One, Dang, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Absolutely. Yeah, we probably catch one of them gosh dang gorillas. Oh, I'm all, <laughs> hey, let me say. I watch that at least once a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went down there and looked around and I said, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to go. Right, we gotta rig some rods. We don't know if we're in the same boat tomorrow. You guys got to see it go down. Whoosh. Last 15 minutes caught us two on, and you know the culprit. Hold on, let me get him out of here. Mr. Bandito Bug, California Crawl, dirtier water, stained water, my favorite color in the springtime. Doink! Gotta be kidding me, ain't no way. Whoosh. Caught that 211, they caught that other one. That was like five pounds almost. I'm like, Y'all kidding me? No. Oh my gosh, that's so dope. Now we gotta go to Sharon Harris. Now Sharon Harris? Oh Sharon. Oh Sharon. <laughs> we ain't talking about falls. Falls is a good pond. Sharon? This guy. Got him. Got him. If we don't catch, I mean it's gonna take 50 pounds to make the top eight. Oh yeah. Watch. I'm telling you, Will. I'd be shocked if it doesn't. I'd be shocked. Absolutely we're shocked. We're going to share it here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I was like, you got it. We did it. Can I fish behind you? Huh? I can fish behind you, right? Yeah. Come on. Seriously, you can come on with it. Unbelievable. This this thing probably weighs eight pounds, three ounces. It does. So Dave Lafibra one big bass for the for the last two days. Won twenty five thousand dollars. Got this award. Good job, dude. Thanks, man. I'm proud of you. That was fun. I appreciate it, Dad. Why are you always gonna be taking all Thanks, the money? Dad. Oh yeah, that's pretty funny. Always gotta take all Coming the money. Coming from you, that's pretty funny. Always gotta fun. take all the money. Such a smart guy. <laughs> anyway, I let you touch mine. You let me touch yours. The bar. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, that's fair. That's fifty thousand. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> a one of a kind.